What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here. I am now a Deck Out Gaming affiliate. Use Joe Dobbs Deck Out at checkout. Deck Out Gaming has tons of singles for Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, and Digimon TCG, as well as One Piece. They now buy list as well. So don't hesitate to reach out and uh, they got your back. Really high customer service ratings. Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here. Um, got a new video for you today. I am preparing for nationals and I'm actually looking for a TCG backpack. So I've looked at Gem, I've looked at everyone's other suggestions and I've looked at some camera bags that people have suggested. So I decided to do a little bit of my own research into some camera bags as well because a lot of the features that they've kind of like marketed to, you know, being able to um, create compartments for cameras, lenses, whatnot, kind of also relate to the kind of compartments TCG players would need, like tripod holders can hold play mats, and the compartments can pretty much uh, hold deck boxes. So let's dive right into this review. This is the review of the bag that I picked up, and I'm very happy about this bag here. This is the C Watkun or Quatkun camera backpack bag, 14 laptop side access, tripod holder, mirrorless, DSLR, SLR, Nikon, Sony camera, small 1.0 black. <gasps> it's only $54.99 Canadian, and you can get it in a large, which is a $59.99. And honestly, I kind of wish I got the large, um, but this size is going to be pretty decent for me in everything that I need, and uh, we'll dive right into the review. Enjoy, guys. So what really intrigued me about this backpack are like three key things. One was the easy access side compartment that has a small holder for cameras, lenses, um, but in this case, deck boxes and camera, my camera, cause I will be creating content at nationals and um, kind of like this hidden pouch that can hide like some of the important things like your passports if you're traveling or documents or anything like deck lists, whatever. And um, also the playmat holder at the very bottom of it. So we're gonna dive right into this starting with the playmat holder. So right off the bat, I just wanted to start off by saying the tripod kind of like straps for the bottom of the backpack is actually really great for holding your playmat. Um, it does slide out just a wee bit, but if you're able to pull it, go as tight as you can, it's a pretty durable bag, you should be fine. So um, as you can see here, I'm just pulling out the straps, very helpful mat there. Next, we're kind of going into all of the compartments in the bag, but mainly we start off with the side compartment. So the side compartment is really awesome because as you can see here, this kind of has its own little uh, pouch that can come out from the side of your backpack. It is actually protected with a Velcro and zipper on the side that I will be showing in a minute. And um, yeah, this can hold, you know, a flip and tray deck box. I believe this can hold the larger version as well that can hold 200 cards. Um, I forgot what that one was called, but that should be fine. Uh, the only thing that won't fit are, is an archive. The archive for Ultimate Guard is a little bit larger, but it's fine because it can also hold three boulder deck boxes. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using it to hold either the flip and tray or the larger version of the flip and tray and my camera, as well as uh, maybe like a backup battery for when I record some content at Nats. Um, this has been a very good buy for me and uh, it's it's pretty much answering a lot of my questions So that said we'll move on into the other compartments as well uh, Some of the main things that I really like is uh, Inside while there is not much space um, It has enough space for me to kind of you know get all the goodies that I might be getting from nationals um, It's also got a little compartment um, at the front at the lip uh, of the backpack that can pretty much hold any any pens, um, any special cards, any like my passport, for example, since I am going to be traveling at nationals. And um, that's pretty much all set and done. And this area is going to be pretty empty for me uh, in order for me to kind of like hold a lot of other things like goodies that I might be receiving uh, at the at the Digimon fan meetup and just through side events or playing or just participating. 
All right, you guys, so in conclusion, this backpack is actually um, very good. Uh, for the $50 price point, in my opinion, you can't go wrong. Uh, that said, I would argue that if you are going to a large event like Nationals and you plan on winning a bunch of side events uh, on the first day and then potentially winning a bunch of prizes afterward, you might want to upgrade to the large, which is only $5 more. That way, that empty uh, section at the top half of your backpack will have more room to store things. Um, that said, a lot of good things here. I love that secret compartment um, or that easy access compartment. It's not as easily uh, accessed as people would think. Like anyone in passing would be unable to just unzip that, unvelcro it, and remove your deck box and, and camera. So um, as from a theft standpoint, it seems fine. Um, in addition to that, there is actually on the side, the opposite side, a very durable, like, thin pouch that I didn't notice when I was recording this and this can hold a bottle of water or your play mat so if you're a content creator it'll hold your play mat on the side instead of the bottom of the backpack and then you can hold your tripod at the bottom of the backpack or whatever kind of hardware you want um, that said a lot of good things with this pack and I'm very pleased with it uh, just right out the gate, you know, 50 bucks, very affordable, and it does everything that it needs to do as a TCG player uh, needs. And uh, yeah, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. Their customer service was also really great. I got a letter from, like, in the packaging, I got a letter that's like, if you're not satisfied within three years, or if it's defective within three years, we'll do our best to replace it kind of thing. And there's a bunch of little cute signatures um, from everyone that has been a part of making that bag. And uh, it's just a nice little letter that kind of attributes uh, or communicates their dedication to just making good bags. Um, but yeah, that said, really good stuff. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.